hey, I bought this Holka Panoramic a few months ago and I already made a short video about my first impressions. Put the link up there so you can take a look at that if you are interested. Now, after taking a few rolls of pictures, my initial worry was that uh, I wasn't really sure what to think about it. Like, it's a lo-fi camera, so should I really think about it as a really crappy lo-fi panoramic camera, or could I actually think about it as an alternative for a good quality panoramic camera? My worry was that what if that falls in between and it's like too good to be a lo-fi camera but it's not good enough to be really a high-end camera. So I was torn. Um, you know, construction-wise it feels like a regular Holger and it actually even looks like a regular Holger. It's just much wider and kind of stretched. It takes uh, six pictures on a roll and the size of each picture is about 6 times 13.5 centimeters. It's, it uses, you know, two 6 by 6 frames and then the space between those frames to create one panoramic pitch. So hey, I think I have a conclusion now. I actually been using this quite a bit, so I thought I gonna share something with you about my experience. Uh, now I have a professorship in this regional university in the town of Jyväskylä. It's about two hour drive from where I live. I don't go there every day, I go every now and then and I typically drive there. This time of the year when I leave it's still dark and when I come back it is already dark. But I often have my Holga with me, my regular Holga. And I every now and then shoot pictures through the windshield. Like it looks cool and with the longer exposure time with the bulb mode I get pictures like this. So now a few days ago, I once again I was actually had a full day at the university and then the day just got longer and longer and longer so I decided to stay overnight. I booked myself into a hotel, checked myself in and had one more meeting early in the morning and then decided to try back home in the middle of the day when there was still light and I had my Holga uh, panoramic with me. I had Ilford HP5 Plus in my camera uh, and I just suddenly decided to turn left to this dirt road, a gravel road. Uh, I don't know where that led to. I drove it about maybe two, three, four hundred meters and it just looked awesome. I mean there was the first fresh snow, a little bit fresh snow on the ground, uh, naked fields, some forest, and I took some panoramic pictures with my Holka panorama. They look like this. Hey, yeah, I, 
I kind of like those pictures. So now I have a stronger opinion about my Holoka panoramic and I like this. This is a lo-fi camera. I shouldn't expect like crystal sharp clean pictures, but it really is a Holoka. Uh, since my last video I learned the trick, uh, which is to always shoot it with uh, uh, bigger aperture, so you put this into the cloud position, not in the sun side position. Because with a bigger aperture, you get softer edges, you get more vignetting. And that's all what I wanted from my Holga. It limits a little bit my composition because only the middle is fairly clean and sharp, and all the edges are mushy. So if I put something to the side of the pitch, it's gonna be mushy. But I can use that for my benefit. I've said that a gazillion of times that I love cameras that have a strong signature, that even just looking at the picture, I know which camera was used to capture that pitch. I like those kind of cameras. And this definitely is one of those. So I like it. I actually seem to be using it quite a bit. The problem still remains that with the panoramic picture, the presentation is difficult. You know, there's less use for me for those panoramic pictures. But just for myself, you know, I, I like the, the look of them and all that. Yeah. Hm. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> Next time, something else. Hey, listen, one more thing. Just Two days after I took those pictures, I needed to go to the university again. And I, this time I took with me a Craflex, uh, Crown Graphics camera. Uh, and some Fomapan 100 film. And I had five minutes and I drove to the same gravel road and took the exactly same pictures with my Craflex. Uh, I thought that was also interesting. The pictures are like this. <laughs>